Hi there, in this video we're going to talk about standard form for quadratic equations. So I already have standard form written here. I have it written three different ways. The top one is for a quadratic equation, meaning that it's uh, equal to zero. And then the bottom two are for a quadratic function. And the difference is, if you see the word function, that means there'll be a y involved or there'll be an f of x involved. Remember, these two are interchangeable. They mean the same thing. In all three forms, you'll notice that quadratic equations have an x squared and might have a coefficient attached. They have a regular x and might have a coefficient attached. And they have a constant, which just means a plain old number. And again, like I said, if it's an equation, it'll be equal to zero. And if it's a function, it'll have a y equals or an f of x equals. Um, so let's do three examples today. All three of them have the same directions, which say rewrite in standard form. We want all of these equations to look like one of those. Number one has a y involved. So we want it to look like this, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So you'll notice that there's no square here. The squared is actually hidden right here. We have three things that are being multiplied. And um, to multiply that, we can go in any order. I'm going to multiply the two parentheses first by doing box method. So that'll be x minus 6 and x minus 2. And that'll work out to x squared plus or sorry, minus 8x plus 12. And that 5, negative 5 is still floating out there. So let's deal with that now. So let's distribute that negative 5 and we get y equals negative 5x squared plus 40x minus 60. So that's in standard form. Uh, standard form, we like the x squared to be the first term with a number up front. We like the x to be the second term with a number up front. And we'd like there to be a cost in it. There is one at the end. Uh, I picked question two for two reasons. Number one, when you have a parenthesis squared, I want to remind you, you can't just do x squared and 4 squared. You have to multiply it by itself using box method or FOIL or however you do it. The other thing I want to remind you is when there's a number in front of something being squared like this, you can't distribute that negative 3 until you're done squaring. Exponents come first. So I know you might be tempted to distribute that negative 3 here, but we have to do a box method first on x plus 4, which is x squared plus 8x plus 16. And then, now that we're done with that exponent, now I can deal with that negative 3. So I did that. I did the box method. I have the negative 3 out there. And we'll deal with this plus 8 later. Uh, let's distribute that minus 3, which will give us minus 3x squared, minus 24x, minus 48. And now let's deal with that plus 8. That's like terms. Let's combine those and get y equals negative 3x squared, minus 24x, minus 40. That's the answer to question number 2. Our last question here, you can see that we have all the pieces here. They're just out of order. Standard form, we want there to be Everything on one side, this one doesn't have a y, it's, it's just an equation, which means we want it equal to zero. So let's get the zero over here. Let's get everything all on the left. Let's make it equal to zero. And to do that, I would do plus 8x to both sides. And when I do this, I'm going to change the order. You can change the order of addition and subtraction as long as you bring the signs properly. So this 4x squared is negative, so I'm going to put that first. This 8x is positive, I'm going to put that second, and then that minus 13 is third. So that right there is the standard form. So you can see today's video is all about just rewriting equations in standard form. As long as you have a good handle on all three of these equations and you have these memorized, then you should be able to do this writing equations in standard form, no problem. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.